All right, everybody, today we're gonna to be talking about how to test the moisture percentage in your wood, the moisture content, and also at the end, tell you why it's important and show you a few mistakes I've made. So this is the particular one I have. There's a bunch of different kinds. This one is a pinless, you can see there's nothing on the back. So let's see how to use it. All right, once it's on, toggle to the mode, that's wall, masonry, soft wood. Let's see what we got. 8%, so that's definitely towards the higher range. Uh, you want, you know, really like 5 to 8% if you're going to be doing some type of furniture stuff. 8% is a little high. Probably have to let this sit. Let's see what the other one reads out. That one is 5%, and it does look like it's been uh, sitting around a little longer, so that one's good to use. All right, that was the softwood setting. Let's toggle it over. All right, there's hardwood. This piece has been sitting in the shop for about a year now. Let's see what it looks like. Zero percent. Zero percent, there you go. All right, here's an example of one that was moisture tested. And you can see the seams. There's a quarter there for reference. You can see how everything is square and stays lined up. Now here's one that I did not moisture test and I rushed. And look at that gap, you can actually see the glue where it was trying to hang on. You can also see where it sank and everything came out of square. So since I didn't test it, I can't tell you how bad it was, but clearly it makes a difference. As you can see the difference between the two.